Okay, example one. How much water must be evaporated from 100 gallons of a 10% brine solution to get a 4% brine solution? Okay, so, first off, we see the word evaporated. Anytime you see evaporated, you're going to be subtracting. And what you're going to be subtracting is the liquid, usually water, sometimes alcohol. Those are the two things that tend to be evaporated in these problems. All right, so what we're starting off with, anytime you're evaporating, you're going to start off with something. Okay, so we're starting off with a 10% brine solution. And we have 100 gallons of it. Okay, the problems we solved before in this category, we always started off with knowing this amount over here. We didn't know either of these. Now we're starting off with one where we know the initial amount. Next, how much water must be evaporated? Okay, so we're taking away some unknown amount of water. What we don't have there is a percent. Okay, if you don't know what brine is, brine is a very salty substance. Okay, water has no brine in it. If you get a cup of water out of your um, tap, it's water. No brine at all. Okay? So, if we're evaporating water, we're evaporating 0% brine from that. Okay? Anytime that will give you a percent, the percent's either going to be 0 or 100. It's up to you to decide which one it is. In this case, we're evaporating water from brine. Water is not brine, so we put a 0%. And we're trying to create a 40% brine solution. All right? So, the percentage of brine left over is 40%. We want this to be the amount of solution, which would be 100 minus X. Those bottom boxes are just a straightforward fact, okay? This box with that operation and that box should match this box. So if this is 60, this will be 40, right? Because 100 minus 60 is 40. If that's 10, 110 minus 10 is 90. So the amount of stuff left over is going to be there. All right, so that's the initial setup. Once we get everything set up in the boxes there like they were before, we multiply percent times amount minus this time percent times amount equals percent times amount. This amount is a binomial, so we have to do a distributive property. So 10 times 100 is 1,000. We're subtracting 0x, better known as 0. So I'm not going to write it now. 40 times 100 is 4,000. And 40 times minus x is minus 40x. So just like that, we have a nice equation that's pretty easy to solve. I like my x is positive, so I'm going to move the 40x over to the left. I'll move the 1,000 over to the right. So positive 40x. I'm going to move the 1,000 over. It's going to subtract, so we're going to get 3,000. Okay, and we end up with x equals 75. Divide by the 40, we get 75. Now, what unit should go on that? Yeah. Gallons. And what substance is that? Brine. Oh, water. water. We're evaporating water. X is right here. X is the water, right? Sorry. Okay. 75 gallons of water need to be evaporated from the solution to end up with a 40% brine solution. Okay? Notice what happened here to the percent. It seems weird. We're subtracting, but we end up with a higher percent. Okay? The reason we end up with a higher percent is because the brine is not being mixed, messed with, right? We're extracting water only, the brine staying there. So the initial percentage is 10% um, brine, which means 10 gallons of brine mixed with 90 gallons of water, right? If we're extracting water and leaving the brine alone, we're going to stay 10 gallons of brine always, less and less and less water. So as the water goes away, the brine stays the same, the water gets less, the percentage of brine goes up because of that. All right, so keep that in mind. But um, that's all they're asking me for, how much water should be evaporated. didn't ask us how much we're going to end up with. Okay, sometimes they ask that also, but usually with these where you don't know the final amount, they're more interested in this number than that number. So just answer the question they're asking for.